Ashifaz, welcome back to online study for you, a complete placement solution. So guys, I have some interview experience to share with you that is from one of our students. So he have appeared for uh, the interview recently and also gone through the interview as well. So uh, his offer letter was, I mean, received just a day before. So we'll be discussing the questions that he have faced during the interview as well as answering to some of your queries okay so i think this video will help you to understand the complete tcs uh, things that is go happening right now all the questions uh, that some of them put forward everything will be answering it okay so without further delay let's move on to the content first itself so here one thing i would like to always mention is before you attend the interview please 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 try to understand what is an interview is all about okay you need to understand what is the interview because uh, just uh, preparing technical questions alone will never help you it's it's a kind like it's a one fourth of the interview process alone okay that is the technical answering the technical questions is kind of one fourth of the interview remaining there is other aspects like which covers a three fourth and that is important okay and all these interviews is not a kind like you uh, you know you obviously know that it, it's a kind of a uh, basic kind of interview wherein you will get some basic questions related to your foundations and all those things it is not like um, you will get some uh, you know uh, brainstorming questions to answer it's it's not like that okay you just have to brush up the things that is that you have been taking care of all these while so this this point i used to make it in my every video that all the thing that you have to do is brush up your foundation brush up your basic knowledge that you are having so this too i am repeating the same and previously too i have shared uh, the experience of most of the folks uh, who was uh, i mean whom we could help them to crack the examination so uh, please do watch us there there with that videos as well to get the perfect idea of how the interview process is going on okay so this is about the interview process so here you can see that self intro is is the particular part so self intro you know it it is the first thing that gives the best impression on yourself and never ever try to give less importance for that okay okay self intro i'll just tell about myself something like that i know to speak in english so i'll do something don't ever do that practice your self intro like you know multiple times before you attend the interview okay you know the flow of speech it should not be like you have prepared it you have mugged up it or you have by heart it it's, it's not like that but you have to go for that uh, natural way of speaking and you should be very free enough uh, to have uh, you know it is actually formal it's, it's a formal meeting only but you should be kind of friendly enough okay it's not like you just stand still or uh, answer according to uh, like you know some kind of discipline way but you can be polite enough that's what moreover uh, being formal uh, what you have to do is you have to be polite enough so that's all about the interview if you just uh, be so crisp you know uh, that uh, tough uh, person look if you're a um, he or she whoever if you are a kind of tough uh, acting tough in the interview then that gives uh, you know good uh, scenario for the interviewer because he is sitting there he or she for the event panelist is sitting there for a whole while getting bored of that so, so they should find something interesting in you right so self intro is important to give you a good start a good impression on yourself so make sure you follow that same or uh, make sure you give something industry interesting actually so go for that okay so self intro is important guys don't ever try to uh, give some random answers or just you know uh, okay you can think it in two ways one way is like uh, you can just tell them uh, all your details so they'll get to know the details done and the other way is how can you tell your details that is important so here all the question that you have to ask about uh, self intro is how can you ask that question okay how can sorry how can you present yourself in self intro okay the way you present your details in the self intro matters okay so whoever sitting in the panelists they have the basic uh, you know background check or basic idea upon yourself but what they are lacking is uh, how you present yourself that's what they want to know from the self intro part so make sure that you did the same okay uh, okay that's about self intro next is the project so while you explain the project that gives an impression like how you really participated in that so because uh, it's a kind like the project works some similar to that is coming to your work scenario too okay 
so uh, during graduation you will be learning something you will be writing for the exam you will be getting the marks and you will be getting passed and all that so only this project is something a practical version okay which is uh, which is not similar actually we have a lot of difference but when compared to the other graduation things that's happening other graduation stages project is something related to the industry how do you contribute yourself to the project is like how do you contribute to your work that there also we will be taking some projects right so how do you contribute it to that so that is uh, the major factor of uh, i mean found here okay so if you are very professional enough to present your project on a high level basis to give a uh, to give a high level view of the same then you won't the match okay so that's all you need to do so try to give a high level view of your uh, details of your uh, project okay so that's that's very important uh, and that's all you want okay they don't want you to know uh, the same okay that is uh, we got to got so much comments like either we need to show them the project the coding the working everything no 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 big no you don't have to do that you just have to present what was the idea if they ask you like give your project you can just tell give your idea about the same and after you can go for the technical side these are the projects implement uh, these are the programming languages implemented or these are the technologies implemented in that something like that you can conclude so the way you express the things gives you a impression for the panelist that you are very much into the project or you know something about the project okay so this is about it next is foundation of your core okay so this is important guys and also uh, i would like to say this is not in the sense priority basis okay this is important this is not important this is important it's, it's not like that this is important this is important this and this everything is important so this is a criteria where you are getting evaluated okay now foundation of your core is if you are a computer science student then your computer science knowledge is valued and if you are some electronics electrical mechanical whatever uh, a student then that is valued and you are getting into an it sector that's a big big truth guys you are getting into an it sector so you must know some basic things anything in it and you will be going through all in assessments and uh, uh, programming questions everything before you really come into uh, play i mean really come into interview session so you should have something in it either c or c++ or some other language anything okay even if you know one language you should know that that language well okay some basic things if they ask some basic question upon that language you should know that okay so that's important okay so this is about the foundation of your core if you just mention this is your technical skill in your resume or in a self intro it's very important to know that because you are telling what you know and from that you will get questions and also it is not true that only from that area so you will get questions of course taking considering all your combination you will get questions okay next is behavior so that is uh, maybe self intro can take up to uh, take you up to 1 minute okay and project 2 you can take up to 1 minute and foundation of your code like all the technical questions everything that may take up to you know 10 to 20 minutes or oh uh, you know 10 plus minutes i can i would say so because you will be having technical round to more than that but behavioral is the total duration okay so that is actually the total duration of the interview you or like throughout the time when you start uh, like good morning good afternoon sir from that till you leave the meeting just click on the leave button uh, from that virtual room your behavior is assessed okay so to make sure that you follow the eye contact then uh, you always keep a mild smile in your face it's not like you should always sit like it's not like that you can just keep a mild smile okay like your face should be pleasant enough and if you're nervous to don't show that in your face try to hide it and also if possible just try to relax yourself at the utmost maybe some of them can't relax uh, it can happen a stage where it can happen so try to be relaxed try to be cool if you are nervous to don't try to present that nervousness to uh, then just put something on your plate okay so that's it 
So that's about the behavior. So throughout your behavior is analyzed here. Okay. So this is all about interview. Once again, I'm telling you are getting into an IT sector. So remember all, all that some things you should have related to IT. If you belong to IT department or not IT department. Okay. So this guy has had exam date on 17 September and interview date was on 1st October and offer letter released on 8th October. So I see some of the others like they will be having MITR and MR round will be combined together. Uh, like everything will be combined only, but TR and MR together in one day and next day HR round do come and maybe one day, next day itself HR, may, HR round may come or else the next day is next day. Okay, so that is one day ahead. Okay, alternative day. So something like that also have happened. So if you went through the technical round, HR round, just keep on checking your mails because it can happen. Maybe that day HR will not be available. So he will be conducting that session soon after any other day is available. So those are the possibilities, but they don't extend too much, like one or two days, that's all I think, uh, because that's the, uh, right now, that's the backlogs or that's the history uh, as of now. So uh, this is all about the thing. So if you just got in down, don't be nervous, just keep on checking your mail. And if you completed all the rounds, like TR, MR, HR, whatever, keep on checking your mails for the result. And uh, that's all we can do. And give a constant follow back to your portal, uh, like TGS portal, everything you check it by yourself. Okay. So next is the technical questions to go. So before moving on to the technical question, I would like to uh, give you give something to you as well, because uh, like we have uh, some materials for uh, for helping you throughout for your interview process. So this is a TGS NQT comprehensive interview material. So uh, you might be wondering like interview questions and offer letter from whole of our students. We are taking the uh, questions from them and presenting it. So all of these students was going through these materials to crack their interview and successfully as of now till the offer letter received uh, list is pretty much good. And uh, most of our students, we are very happy to announce most of our students have went through the same. So uh, this is about uh, the thing. So here it is 249. So here it is not about uh, like one batch alone. You can see here it is applicable for wide range of electronics, then mechanical, electrical, then important coding questions, operating system, DPMs, everything. So I can guarantee you guys, if you go through this complete material, then you will be well prepared enough to answer for that. Then HR questions, everything will be there. Trips, tips and strategies, everything is there. So it's in PDF format and this material will be available for six months. And this is exclusively for TCS made as well. But don't worry, like for the freshers, most of the company interviews will look similar if you're looking forward for the software uh, like engineer department. So here uh, you will, uh, you can go for that. Okay, you can keep this as a reference for other companies too. So it's just 249 available. So make sure you buy that same. Okay, so that's it. Okay. So that's about it. And you can see the years which is applicable. These students can apply it here and get the school done. Okay, so that's it. Now moving on to the technical question. So before that, I have uh, one more thing that is regarding some of your doubts and queries. So I would like to take uh, some of my, yeah, this is my previous video regarding the TGS and QT. So we'll be answering some uh, of your doubts actually. So maybe that will help you a lot, right? So uh, I'll just pick up two, three, then go to my uh, that questions and come here. I'll do something like that. So that will not be much boring, I guess. Okay. So um, this is related to the eligibility criteria. So it completely depends upon the eligibility criteria, guys. So if you are a kind of this, then uh, you should go read the eligibility criteria once present. Okay. And next is if you include our technical skills and subjects we are comfortable with, then will they ask? Uh, related to what I've mentioned my introduction or they still can ask anything. It, it's completely different on that as Sharma. It, it's kind like if you include in the introduction, if you include in the resume, there's a high chance of asking. And if you belong to computer science student, they know what all a computer science student across in India can learn about the things. So obviously you can get some basic questions, very basic like C, C++, OOPS concepts, something related to that. That's a mandatory portion that every student will be having. Having. And apart from that, on specializing part, it's dependent upon the introduction and resume part. Okay. And 
they ask uh, questions only basic please be 100% perfect in basic how to swap two variables without using the third variable yeah sure sure uh, shake abdul fires okay you are what you say is completely right and that's that's the true thing actually uh, what is they are looking forward is the basics so if you are good in basics then that's all then is our resume present with them or we should in share so i i would suggest you they don't prefer for that they don't go but as a backup or something for your safety if you are worried about that aspect then you can just keep it ready in your in a folder right that's all but they won't be asking anything they'll have straight away from the portal and they'll be having the documents with them and um, my interview ki panel mein do hi interview then they'll contact separate hr around for me because they say it will get back to you okay this is happening shardul shardul takur this is happening actually because most of them got hr around mr around today and next day they got hr around and most of them got combined to someone separate so it's it's happening okay and uh, yeah कैंडिडेट बैचड लिखने की कितने दिनों बाद इंटरव्यू का मेल आते हैं सो एक्चुअली इट्स इट्स अ काइंड लाइक दे आर सेंडिंग सम रीजन वाइज सम ग्रुप वाइज मे बी द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ इंटरव्यू लाइक you have all in assessment right so the first day students in a batch something like that or region wise i don't know which criteria that they are following but it's completely depend upon that i guess and can we use your phone for the interview directly we have to give you can use in the like your phone and i would suggest you to use your phone because we don't know how the panelist will be speaking so if it is a normal system in front of you then you will not get to speak well so if if he say something we'll not get to hear them so make sure you use them okay you use uh, your phone that's very good and i would you like to go for some playing colors or something like that like something what i wear right now or uh, the professional one also you can wear there is no worries in that but don't go for like this contrasting kind of things uh, like uh, big headphones with uh, you know contrasting colors so that may gives a non professional touch okay so don't go for that okay thesis ka final result kab tak aayega to depends pandit kumar it completely depends upon them they are sending it uh, in region wise maybe the two day has ahead maybe in a week or so i have a doubt about resume yes you can ask shubham that's whether we have to show a resume or they are already have a resume in hand you literally don't have to show them i get now i haven't heard those kind of things but you, if if you want to make assurance to that you can just keep it in a folder in your system where you are logging in to give your exam to give your interview so that's all they'll they'll have anyway uh okay there is only two panel for me only tr questions were asked for me what about the hr as they will call me or i got rejected so if you feel these kind of things happening around then you can directly ask during the panel okay uh, panel okay i got i think i have been going through the technical round so will i have to hr round separately or is this all about the interview you can ask something like that also at the end if not uh, you can just wait okay because you know there are some students as i have mentioned there are someone who got a hr interview same day or some got it on the next day or uh, two days i had something like that okay so i'll read more comments before uh, let let me get, get into that okay yeah let's answer some get some questions and i'll give for more comments okay now technical questions and hr questions this is what he have received so technical questions for the difference between c and c++ so guys i am very tired of giving you the answer between c and c++ because this is the repeated question from the tcs side okay in this interview schedule on total this is a repeated question that's coming across so uh, even most of our videos regarding this has the answer for this question so please to surf it and please to watch my video i've explained even for the complete answer okay next we have stlc so this is a kind of uh, you know uh, important thing because this is the various aspects that you are working upon so uh, this is important guys that is sdlc uh, so that is if you got recruited as test engineer you are working under one phase of sdlc that is software development life cycle if you got in as a developer then you are working under one life cycle i mean one of the phase in this whole life cycle and if you got into system engineer something like that okay so sdlc is very important to know know about the different lclc it's like planning till implementing maintenance 
uh yeah it's it's a long story okay and from the name itself you will get to understand what is this phase all about so if you are a computer science student or a non computer science student please do know or please do have some basic knowledge on stlc it's very important okay now types of memory management yes there are lot of types of memory management available in programming language so make sure you have a note on the same okay types of memory management and difference between pass by value and pass by reference so this is a kind of you know uh, i mean the uh, value passing mechanism with the memory system it's, it's a kind of that so you should have like one to two points for the same because pass by value and pass by reference is, is a kind of you know very basic and very important thing too and if you are a computer science student from your high school uh, yeah if you from your high secondary school it seems yeah high secondary school then you will be learning this thing first pass by and pass by reference then even your graduation you will be repeatedly learning the same for four marks question five marks question and everything okay so this has its own importance go for that and data structures yeah what is structures uh, data structures and uh, how can you implement that and they last they can ask some can you give me an example of implementing data structures that is important know about it and overloading and overriding so it's related to oops concept so again oops concept came into action so i just told you in one of my previous video the first video regarding features which i did personally there i mentioned like oops concept is the must you will hear it throughout the interview uh, like like everyone who attend the interview will get some or the other way the answer question related to the oops concept it's very true you can see here so overloading and overriding is a question that i have came across and in previous video i think uh, someone has asked directly what is the oops concept and uh, uh, some questions was related to polymorphism some questions were related to inheritance so in personal i mean in in uh, subdivisions it can goes or it can go like uh, uh, give the of concept okay difference between class and objects was one of the question to one of another student so so this is kind of technical question that you can get so overall guys if you are going if you are preparing for the technical question please do make sure you go for uh, this basics okay very basics brush it up and keep it ready with yourself okay and hr questions is not a new thing because uh, this is the primary questions that everyone was facing around so the same kind of questions have came up uh, again so why tcs always have this answer with you if it is with tcs or if it is not with tcs infosys wipro whichever company why that company have the answer okay now is main issues faced during the pro your project so what will be the drawbacks due to this uh, virtual classes or virtual project sessions so that you can just Mm, figure it out and your weaknesses yes this is to find out uh, the working type of view and everything so make sure they have only asked about the weakness okay so this is a kind of tricky guys that is they have only asked about your weaknesses here but it's always good first you go for the weakness okay first you just tell this is my probably my weakness and then end this weakness with one of your strength okay just uh, put a strength that will cover up your weakness okay so this is how you have to give so that gives an impression like you are putting things in a uh, very positive way okay that's important and what is your carry up plan so always like if you are if you have some extra curricular activities too don't mention it like uh, your career is to concentrate upon that alone so they'll ask okay if you if we gave the job to you too then you if you got some opportunity that you will leave the job and you will go so why we have to waste time selecting you time and money selecting you so that can come across as a question so uh, make sure you just tell your career plans later to the industry that you're getting in itself and if possible just to as an impression factor okay to impress the panelists you can put some things related to the tcs too Okay, the main TCS this is uh, good, so I would like to do that section. That is, uh, yeah, something like that. Okay, you can mention it. Okay, so this is all about the HR and technical questions that I've uh, went through. So uh, his uh, was over by approximately. Yeah, I just did it. Yes, this was uh, yeah interview date was worked and received the offer later on eighth. 
So this is about the process, complete process and the questions that he had received about. So that's it. That's about uh, the complete process. And now we need to discuss some of your comments. So I know it's getting, it's, it's, it's taking much more time, but some questions will, some comments will discuss and uh, we'll try to enclose those. Okay, now I completed my HR round. Can you tell how long it takes to get the mail from TCS, whether selected or rejected? So I think it's completely depends. It's been three days that this comment has been up. So I think uh, maybe you might have got the information at now, by now. If not, you can just wait. It completely depends, okay? And I'm not IT eagerly waiting for this kind of video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Hemant, and this means a lot. And, um, so these are sent survey mail for paid version. If are you, I mean, with the, are you asking question to us? Like it's a, the, are they sending or you receive some mail or something like that? I'm not very much clear to answer that question. And uh, September alone ka result ka baayega ki nahi uh, NQT ka ne, okay, naya NQT ka, I think. So it's like, uh, you should have re re received by then if they are sending according to the dates of completion but it, if it is not according to the days of completion if it is kind of region wise or some category wise then you can even keep it you can just keep refreshing your portal and your mail and everything okay can we update your resume uh, like i don't know when you update it now and if you have some interview ahead if your thesis interview schedule within days whether the updated resume will be come into effective that is the panelists will get or not i'm not very sure on the same but if you wish to uh, like update that, you can update and uh, upload it in the next portal. There you can change it, okay. And I'm not IT and my stream is BCom. What is the question for BCom not IT branch, okay. So I think that's going for uh, some engineering related batches too. And if you're BCom too, you are getting into IT sector and your online assessment, you will be going through some of the IT related uh, questions and all that so there you might have gone through some areas so that is important so you should have some basic it knowledge if you are looking forward for software department then i think there are a lot many doubts and uh, haven't done any project but have done internship go for that banu you can give that uh, a, that as well no problem in that then first oh great can i update your resume yes you can update uh, in the portal, then I have not done any project, but I did many project. Can I add it in resume? Yeah, exactly. You can add. You don't have to uh, think twice. You can add, obviously. Then yesterday I gave TCS interview, but till now I didn't got an email regarding HR interview. So what indicate? Please tell me. So it's been three days. Maybe dare to be you might have got. Uh, regarding the same and it's it's complete policy uh, we can't be very sure but one thing i can say if there are some students who is getting the hr round on the next day or the one day after so you can be one among them or it it's depending upon their uh, decision it seems okay so i think all the answers to my previous video is answered right now all the questions comments to the previous is answered uh, not in the sense it's 66 comments but i I try to answer a few of them and I'll be going on through and I'll try to put the comments like replace to that comments as well. Okay, so that's all about it. If you have any further doubts, please do let me know in the comment section. I'll be looking forward for that as well. So until I come up again, everybody stay safe, stay happy and stay tuned to online study for you.